Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today a much overdue review for Michael Adams. Thank you for being so patient. I've been a slack Archie. Hello Archie, you made a Hamilton review for me last year. Thanks again for that. I am emailing to let you know that I finally took your advice and purchased an, a Speedmaster Professional 3570.50 on leather. I got it for 25.25 US from a guy in, in state who was selling it on eBay. It came with the new box, NATO and space strap, Amiga bracelet tool, jeweler's loop and a commemorative coin. Uh, he didn't like... Uh, he, he sold it because he didn't like the crystal and he'd only worn it five times. I thought the price was too good to pass and um, it's a great watch. Thanks for giving me so much information about this great watch. I was thinking that I might get my camera gear together in the next week or two and make for a collection review. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. This is the... The Stubby Johnson Working Man's Collection. Let's have a look here. We've got an Omega Speedmaster Pro. We've got an Omega Seamaster 300, 1996 chronometer. Original run with papers that shows Omega changed the, the movement from a 1109 to 1120. We've got a Camelton, Hamilton Khaki X-Wind, Hamilton Khaki Officer. An Oris BC3 from 2001, silver dial with stick markers, and a Tissot PR516 Viso date with a blue dial. Okay, what do I think? I gotta say, this collection is moving forward in the right way. It was a little bit low end, little bit low end, fuckers, but he's really bringing it up. And I gotta tell you, what a. What a great way to go about it. What a what great way to go about it. I'm over the moon. I think, look, that's pretty, pretty good there. He's got uh, two decent Omegas, two Hamiltons. Okay, you know, that's your mid-range in your collection. And an Oris and a Tissot as beaters. It's well balanced. Fuckers, what I look for in a collection when I'm talking to people is I like to see a balanced collection. I like to see a collection which has got a lot of thought in it and it's moving places. You know, someone who's got a perfect collection, this shows you hard fucking work. It shows you hard work and it shows you how one man can, can continually improve it. And uh, i got to tell you, the Hamiltons aren't too bad. You know, for bang per buck, Hamilton doesn't pretend to be Rolex or Omega. It's Hamilton. You know, it, it's, it's, it's semi-decent sort of stuff. The Oris, I also, you know, Oris is a brand. If you're going to buy low-end, Oris is pretty, you know, that's, that doesn't pretend to be Patek. It's not like a, you know, these bullshit fucking brands that pretend to be something they're not. Frederick Constant, you know, that sort of bullshit, you know. Uh, Tissot, that's, you know, that again, it doesn't pretend it's great. It knows its place. And uh, i got to say, Michael, this collection is really coming on well. Really coming on well. The Working Man's Collection. The Stubby Johnson Working Man's Collection. Now, what advice would I have there, Michael? Look, I would say, look, that's really good. You've got a nice cross. I'm really pleased you've laid the foundation with some nice Omegas. That's... Can't get wrong with that. I reckon the next thing I would be adding... I reckon you want to get <coughs> to get this collection to the next level. You don't have to sell anything. I, I, I would say the Hamiltons, keep. The Iris and the Tissot, keep. The two Amigas, keep. <coughs> I'd be adding two Rolexes. 
I'd be adding a the best bang per buck sports Rolex is the the polar fuckers the polar. I would be adding a one six five seven zero. That's what I'd be adding. I'd be adding one of those fuckers. Where's my fuck? Oh, here it is. I'd be adding. I'd be adding. Um. I'd be adding one of these. That's a two. That's the Explorer two. They're great bang per buck. And I'd also add a 16234. That's the steel date just with the white gold bezel. Now, instead of that, you could also add a... If you've got smaller wrists, I'd add a 6694. That's an Oyster Perpetual manual wind. Great bang per buck watch. And the Explorer 2. that would bring you up to sort of the Rolex round. Nice eight-piece collection. And this is something to work for. You don't have to jump on it just yet. But i, I got to tell you, that is fantastic news. The uh, the Amigas, that's two good pieces. The Hamiltons, look, that's uh, you know that, that's in its, its area there. The Oris and the Tissot, beaters. Everyone needs a fucking beater. And I reckon your collection can go to greatness. By bringing in Rolex... I reckon, a, uh, as I said, the, the Explorer 2 and a either a, uh, a Datejust or a 6694 if you want to keep it a little bit lower in price. It's moving in the right, co right way, Mike, and I love that. A living collection. It's not dead and stagnant. This is collection has got great potential. It's moving in the right direction, and that's what collecting watches is all about. You want to move in the right fucking direction. That's what you want to do. You want to move, fuckers. You got to move in the right direction. And this collection, I love it. I love how he's put thought into it. He's a uh, lot of effort there. He's really worked, worked, worked on it. And uh, it is absolutely... I love it. I absolutely love the way it's moving forward. And this is the whole thing. A collection is a living collection. This is not... This is why I sold the Patex. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's sad. But now I can enjoy other things. It's a living collection. And uh, i got to say, Michael, I love it. I love the spread there of uh, good... They're nice watches. That's a fucking usable collection. And that is so important. I love seeing this instead of someone who's got fucking 10 Patex. Oh no, we don't wear them. Oh no, 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 no. That's not a collection. That is fucking purgatory, fuckers. Purgatory, fuckers. And uh, I, I've got to say to you that it's got great scope. I love the scope. And Michael, I hope you come back to me in 12 months time and tell me you've added a Rolex. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great fit.